University of Mumbai, MCOM Sem 4, Indirect Tax, Question Bank Solution, Topic MCQs Part 3. If the amount of goods including GST is Rs. 20,500 and GST rate is 12%, the amount excluding GST would be Option A, 18,304, Option B, 18,000, Option C, Need, Option D, 10,000. The correct answer is option A, 18304. How you got it? You have to take a GST rate 20,500. Okay, you have to take GST 20,500. GST rate is 12%. So you will divide it by 1.12. Okay, and then you will get your answer 18,304. Okay, you just use your calculator, calculate it and then see your answer. Next question, question number 52. Dash is a mechanism to monitor the intrastate trade of good and service. Option E, IGST, Option B, CGST and HGST, Option C, UTGST and ISD, Option D, SGST and IGST. The correct answer is Option B, CGST and SGST. So, CGST and SGST is a mechanism to monitor the intrastate trade of goods and service. All liability of a taxable person are recorded in Option A, Electronic Liability Registered Option B, Electronic Credit Ledger Option C, Electronic Cash Ledger Option D, Electronic Debit Ledger The correct answer is Option A, Electronic Liability Registered All liability of a taxable person are recorded in Option A, Electronic Liability Registered MCQ number 54 Electronic credit ledger is maintained in Form GST PMT 01, Option B Form GST PTM 03, Option C Form GST PMT 02, Option D Form GST PMT 05. The correct answer is Option C Form GST PMT 02. Regarding this Form GSTs, uh, I have made one video. The link of the video will be given in the description block please refer to it because from this you will get many mcqs okay so it will help you to score marks it is not necessarily the same question will be asked but there are so many uh, gst form which are there registered gst form gst uh, pmt form are there so just go through that uh, video you and uh, listen to all the forms uh, gst forms registered numbers so you will get the utility of it and uh, it will be helpful for your uh, exams okay so electronic credit ledger is maintained in form gst pmt 02 then question number 55 if Mr. Alex sold goods in Rajasthan for rupees 10, uh, sorry, for rupees 1 lakh at 12% GST, dash will be amounted to CGST and dash will be amount to SGST. Okay, so when it is an intrastate uh, supply, okay, there will be a CGST is also strong, uh, sorry, intrastate supply, it will be CGST and SGST charges. So we have 12% GST, so it amount will be 12,000 and it will be divided into a state and central. So for the state, 6,000 will be there and for the central, 6,000 will be there okay so when the mr L, uh, alex sold gold in rajasthan for rupees 1 lakh at 12 percent you will for 12 percent you will get 12000 rupees uh, so in gst 12000 will be amount to cgst and s and 6000 will be amount to sgst so correct answer is option a rupees 6000 rupees 6000 next question 56 full form of tds is Option A, tax debit at source. Option B, tax deducted at source. Option B, tax deemed at source. Option C, tax done at source. The correct answer is option B, tax deducted at source. In case of intrastate transaction, registration is dash. Option A, mandatory. Option B, optional. Option C, accepted. Option D, partly option. The correct answer is option A, mandatory. In case of intrastate transaction, registration is mandatory. Dash is applicable at the time of application of registration. 
ऑप्शन ई जी एस टी रजिस्ट्रेशन जीरो वन ऑप्शन बी जी एस टी रजिस्ट्रेशन जीरो टू ऑप्शन सी जी एस टी रजिस्ट्रेशन जीरो थ्री ऑप्शन डी जी एस टी रजिस्ट्रेशन जीरो फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए जी एस टी रजिस्ट्रेशन जीरो वन इज एप्लीकेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर एमसीक्यू नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन application for restoration of registration is to be made within dash days option a 7 option b 30 option c 25 option d 28 the correct answer is option b 30 application for restoration restoration of register is to be made within 30 days in case of reverse charge mechanism dash becomes liable to pay tax to government option a service provider option b service reserve option c businessman option d employee the correct answer is option b service receipt in case of reverse charge mechanism service receipt become liable to pay tax to government in case of reverse charge mechanism service receipt become liable to pay tax to government mr akshar in the state of manipur and engage in supply of good and services He is liable for registered under GST in his aggregate ten over exceed. Option A twenty lakhs. Option B twenty five lakhs. Option C thirty lakhs. Option D forty lakhs. The correct answer is option D. Uh, sorry, the correct answer is not there in the option. Your correct answer, as it is, is a state of Manipur, which is a uh, which comes under a special state. The limit aggregate ten over limit is ten lakhs. So correct answer is ten lakh, which is not there in the option. Okay, then MCQ number sixty-two. Calculate aggregate turnover of Mrs. Anjana. Anjana, based on the following detail given uh, by her, taxable supply including GST at the rate eighteen percent, rupees four lakh seventy-two thousand. Assumed supply rupees seventy thousand. Exports of goods two lakh fifty thousand. The correct answer for this will be seventy-two. Uh, seven lakhs twenty thousand. How we got it? First, you have to take eighty percent of uh, seven uh, for of four lakh seventy two thousand. So four lakh seventy thousand into eighteen divided by one one eight, you will get four lakh. Okay. Then you you have to add this four lakh plus assumed supply that is seventy thousand plus exports of goods two lakh fifty thousand. So four lakh plus seven lakh plus two lakh fifty thousand. You will get your answers. Seven lakh twenty thousand. Which of the following country was the first to introduce GST? Option A, United States. Option B, Britain. Option C, Canada. Option D, France. The correct answer is option C, Canada. The correct answer is option D. Uh, sorry, the correct answer here is option D, France. Okay, it's not Canada. Option D, France. Okay, so first country uh, to introduce GST is France. With how many days a person should apply for registration? Option A, sixty days. Option B, forty-five days. Option C, thirty days. Option D, fifteen days. The correct answer is option C, thirty days. So a person should apply for a GST registration within the thirty days once he get liable for the for the payment of GST. Proper officer shall issue the order of cancellation of registration with dash of submission of application. For the same, the correct answer is option thirty days. So proper officer shall issue the order of cancellation of registered within thirty days of submission of application for the same. Okay, so under in the form GST registration nineteen within thirty days from the date of application, the proper officer can issue an order of cancellation. Next question. The supplier is liable for registered under GST in the state or union territory other than a special state where he makes a taxable supply of good or service or both in the aggregate if the aggregate turnover exceed for good and services both the aggregate turnover limit is 20 lakhs so your correct answer is option B 20 lakhs The calculation of aggregate turnover to decide the registration limit will be based on state wise turnover state wise turnover excluding exports all in all over india turnover option d all over in turn india turnover excluding exports the correct answer is option c all over india turnover
so calculation of aggregate turnover to decide the registration limit will be based on all over india turnover what is the validity of chalan in form gst pmt 06 5 days correct uh, option b 15 days option c 30 days option d 1 day the correct answer is option b 15 days the chalan of pmt 06 one generated should be valid for only 50 days to complete any pending payment if any okay so chalan in pmt 06 one generated should be valid for only 15 days to complete any pending payment Interstate outward supply is rupees 15 lakh, excluding GST at 18%. Gross liability on this transaction is dash. Option A, 13, uh, 1,35,000. Option B, 2,70,000. Option C, 1,50,000. Option D, 30,000. The correct answer is option B, 2,70,000. So, if you take or take inter interstate outward supply 15 lakh excluding GST. So if you take the 18% of 50 lakh, then your gross taxable income will be 2 lakh 70,000. Consequent number 71. The first committee to design GST model was headed by option A Vijay Gilkar, option D Asim Das Gupta, option D B Chidambaran, option D Arun Jetli. The correct answer is option D Asim Das Gupta. In 1999, the Vajpayee government appointed Asim Das Gupta as the head of the first committee to design a GST model. Every decision made during the GST council meeting should be supported by at least dash majority of the weight and oath to the of the member who are presented and voting at the meeting option a 50 percent option b 60 percent option c 75 percent option d 90 percent the correct answer is option c 75 percent so every decision made during the gst council meeting should be supported by at least 75 percent majority of the weighted votes of the member who are present and voting at the meeting S Limited has provided following information for the month of April. Interstate outward supply rupees 8 lakh. Interstates exempted outward supply rupees 5 lakh. Turnover of exported goods rupees 10 lakh. Payment made for availing GTA service rupees 80,000. Calculate aggregate turnover of S Limited. So, payment made by availing GTA services, we are not going to consider. So, other service, intrastate outward supply, 8 lakh, we are going to take. Plus, interstate exempted outward supply, rupees 5 lakh. Plus, turnover of exported goods, 10 lakh. So, 8 lakh plus 5 lakhs per 10 lakh, your answer will be uh, 23 lakhs. Okay. So, payment of made by availing GTA services of rupees 8,000, we will not consider it in our turnover. Good listed in the Schedule 5 carry dash GST rate. Option A 3%, Option B 5%, Option C 12%, Option D nil. The correct answer is Option C 12%. Okay. So here is a schedule list. In Schedule list, list of good is nil rated. Schedule 2 you have a list of goods at 0.25% uh, rate. Schedule 3 list of good at 3% rate. Schedule 4 you have list of good at 5% rate. Schedule 5, list of good at 12% rate. Schedule 6, list of goods at 18% rate. And Schedule 7, list of good at the 28% rate. Okay. So, this is your list of the goods with the rate. Next question. GST for renting of agro machinery will be option A 5%. Option B 12%, Option C 18%, Option D exempted form of GST. The GST for rating agro machinery will be exempted from GST. For more NCQs, please click on subscribing and click on notification bell icon for the next part. Thank you.